Uh, at Niemla. Hey, Karen. Hey, Karen. Contributor to Ultimate Nintendo Guide to the NES Library. I've heard Ian may perhaps might have a little more time to make video content. Will we see Ian's happy handhelds? So I left his bathroom. And I confronted him, right? And I asked him, why is there ranch dressing in your bathroom? <laughs> okay? <laughs> I asked him. Okay. And he had no fucking answer for me, okay? He had no... He had no answer as to why it was there. It was just something that was there, and it made perfect sense to him that it should be there, okay? Uh-huh. Okay, so I sat back down on the bed, right? And and he wanted to play uh, Fantasy Star Online for the GameCube. And I think his intention was to sit there and beat the whole game. Okay. Okay, but we put it on, and, and the bottom... His TV cut off a large portion of the bottom of the screen, so I couldn't even see what I did. It was unadjusted correctly? It was, it was, just, it was just, yeah, it wasn't adjusted okay. properly at all. Okay. And uh, so so I can't even play the fucking game properly because the split screen's just not working right. Uh -huh. And there's a lot of, like, not talking going on, and it's, it's uncomfortable. Are, are you sitting directly next to him? I'm right next to him on, on his a, bed. On, on his bed. On his bed. I'm right next to him on his was bed. It, was the, the bed. There was, there was, no, other, was, there was no other seat. Was the bed made? Uh, yeah, it was made. Oh, it was, was made. It was made. It was clean soft. Sheets. Yeah, okay. it was made. It was made. It was clean sheets. Tw twin size? Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Probably now, twin. I don't remember if I ever asked about, uh, talked about the part where he asked, um, um, if I preferred light or dark rooms, and he had like a storm curtain hanging. Like it was like it was like a fucking heavy blanket that was just one of those hanging, blacked out. That was curtains? just hanging. It was just like actually yeah. just a blanket. And he walked over and was like, "Uh, Ian, do you do you prefer light or, or or dark rooms?" And I was like, hey, "Light, light would be great. Light would be fucking fantastic." So after we played these games for a little while, okay. he um, he goes, he goes to me um, he goes, "I made a video game about you. Would you like to see it?" I was like, yo, so we can play, like, anything else that this you want a, on your this show. This is a momentous uh, birthday party. Lots of stuff yeah, going lots on. Of Fetal things. position, ranch dressing, inside the bathroom. And now uh, the revelation that someone made a video, video game, game about, about me. You. So so I, I, I really tried to push the issue that maybe we should... Um, we should probably just keep playing video games, right? Sure. Okay. Play, play some shooter action. <laughs> play some, just, just, play, fucking anything. just put off the inevitable. So uh, I, I couldn't put it off any longer. And uh, he had made um, uh, 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 a, a, a mini RPG. Uh, no, 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 back up, back up. How did he reveal this to you? Like, okay, come sit down. Let me show you this. Like, I want to walk through the process, but... Pat, how just don't make it any harder for me, okay? He made an RPG, uh, okay. a, a short uh, one, about me using RPG Maker okay. on the PlayStation 1. Okay. Okay. All right. So we had it saved. He booted it so, up. So it's saved to a memory card. Okay. okay. Now, I want you to remember, when it comes to RPG Maker, uh, you can't... Um, there is no keyboard support. You have to hunt and peck every little bit of dialogue into the window. <clears throat> so this was after I had uh, broken up with my, my uh, girlfriend at the time. And uh, he made an RPG about me. And about him as my sidekick, and we were gonna go get me back together with my girlfriend. Okay, you had revealed to him that you'd broken up way before that. Yep, yep, he knew about this. So mistake number one. Um, now, now when he uh in the game, he uh he starts off. I, I I'm a character, and he's a character, and he's uh he's a bunny girl. <laughs> But he's going by his actual name, and I'm not gonna. I'm not. I'm just not gonna repeat it. Um, so his character is literally the sprite of like the stereotypical '90s Japanese bunny girl, high heels, like the yes. casino outfit, the ears, yeah. right? Okay. So I am way dominant, like and aggressive in this RPG, and like he's totally subservient, and it's just fucking blowing my mind, and it's way too fucking weird because it's like oh, it's, it's like he never knew me. So I'm like. <laughs> You gotta come with me and get your shit into shape and we're gonna go. And he's like, but, but, and I cast a spell on him and it turns him back into himself, but himself is a fucking monkey. He's a monkey. And, and, and the text on the screen was, no, I wasn't done being a bunny girl. I wanted to keep playing with my, and then the text cuts off. Whoa, there's lots of, there's a lot of shit going on here. There's a lot of in this, a lot of outs, a lot of fans in this a, fucking there's problem. A, there, there's a lot, there's a lot of psychological, so, there's a lot of psychological problems here. He wanted to keep touching himself, but he wanted to fuck me. We'll get to that more. We'll get, we'll get to that more later. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. So. 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 Anyway. 
anyway, we go through the rest of this RPG. The story's not all that spectacular. We get to the end. I'm dominant male. He's subservient male. I'm trying to get this girl to go back out with me because I'm the strong fucking hero. Uh, my jaw is on the floor the whole time. I can't fucking handle it. We finish it, and it's at this point, it's at this point that things just start breaking in my head. Just things start snapping. I'm no longer functioning or thinking properly, or no, no, nothing's, nothing's happening in a way that's good. Okay? No, I mean, nothing's good. Nothing's good in my world. So, we finish that. No, we finish that. It's finished, Pat. We finished that. That's done. Okay? It was about 15 minutes in length. He did a lot of hunting and packing. You talk about the art style, the enemies, the items. It's all sprites. A slowed up (laughs) RPG maker. He used stock assets. Okay? All right? What? Okay? Okay? Okay. All right. <laughs> you just glanced over. You said you wanted to have sex with me or molest. Hold on. We're getting. <laughs> we're getting to this. Around this point, I made it very clear that I wasn't. Uh, oh, by the way, I'm. I'm probably gonna have to go soon. And I think I mentioned this in the the, the prior uh, the prior talk. Uh, um, he he expected me to sleep over that night. And I didn't. I didn't want to sleep over. I was like, no, 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 no. I'm not sleeping over. Um, <coughs> pajama party. Pajama sleepover. Party. But uh, you know, we were gonna have dinner and things like that. And he asked me. He uh, dropped another bombshell on me. Oh, I made a comic about you. Would you like to see it? I mean, I'm trapped at this point. I feel like I'm going to get fucking knifed at any point if I say the wrong thing. So I'm like, what do you mean? <laughs> kind of like flustered up. And he goes, oh, well, I <coughs> I made a comic about you. And I'm going to try to remember this as perfectly as I can, okay? He loads it up on his computer. He loaded it on so his PC. Okay. Okay? He took a lot of pictures of me at work. Wait, what, what? He took pictures of me at work. <laughs> Pictures, Pic- incognito pictures of me behind the, the, the did, desk working do, on the computer. Did he know? Did you know that these were being taken? Uh, uh, I I think I saw him take like a couple, and I was like, "What are you doing?" He's like, oh, "I just <laughs> took a picture." I'm like, "Okay, that is, don't." <laughs> this is in the old Voltaire store. This is the old, this is the old Voltaire. Store. Did he take them like over like the? He's like <laughs> over the corner. So there's like four panels, right? And once again, he's putting me in this completely weird like personality that I I'm not. First panel is me sitting behind the computer. Man, I'd really like to get some ass tonight. Like it, like bubbles or in like a bubble. In a bu- okay, in bubble. In a, in a bubble above this Man, picture. Man, I'd really, really like to get, get some, some ass, ass tonight. tonight. Words I've never heard you utter and probably never will. I'll just go on this dating site and have my pick. Third panel. Oh yeah, this chick. <clears throat> Says that uh, it was something like says that she's really into anime, loves video games, totally my type. Which, by the way, people, you don't. This is a common misconception among among some people. You you don't chase after someone who's exactly like you. That's no fun. Uh, hope she's got big tits or something like that. <laughs> Did it actually say that I said for or something like that? So, it was, so no, I mean I'm saying it said okay. it was like something like that. And it's like it was like click, okay, the last panel. The last panel is me with my head in my hand. I don't know how he got it. Maybe when I realized that he was taking pictures, goes, oh, it's just Max again. Implying that Max was making... I said his name. I said his name. Implying that this person was making uh, profiles to bait me on dating sites. So, so anyways, <coughs> I get a phone call around this time, right? I pick it up. It's my ex, okay? Now, Trig and and <coughs> and my ex have been texting me this whole fucking time, okay? Making sure that I'm alive and I'm okay. And she calls and she goes, how you doing? And I'm like, right now I'm not so good. How are you? And she's like, oh, I just got punched in the throat by a crackhead. Because she was working at this, uh, the Starbucks on 30th Street when it was there. I'm like, oh my god, are you okay? And she's like, oh, I'm totally fine. I'm more concerned about you. Uh, she's like, actually, uh, do you need a ride? I'm like, yeah, I need a ride. I need a ride right now. She's like, okay, cool, because I'm going to use this as an excuse to come pick you up. Okay? So she says that she's going to be there, and she's going to come get me. And okay. I'm just fucking counting down the minutes. She's like, give me 20 minutes. I'm like, okay. And I'm like, Max, I got to go. My, my friend just got fucking punched in the throat by a crackhead. 
Which and, sounds like a better time, by the way. And, and he, he goes, oh, are you sure you gotta leave so soon? We haven't even had dinner yet. And I'm like, yeah, I, I gotta go. My, my friend was assaulted on the job. And I mean, I, I have to go make sure she's okay. Like, she wants to be around someone right now. Like, that's mm -hmm. assault. Okay, I mean, okay. All right, good. So, great. <clears throat> so, she gets there to pick me up. And I'm like, okay, I gotta go. And he's like, okay, well, I'll walk you out the door. And as we're walking out the door of the old boarding house, <laughs> the one with the Cyclops eye in the door, by yeah, the way. I turn and I look at the mom and I go, bye, nice to meet you. She goes, oh, you're not sticking around for dinner? I'm like, sorry, something came up with my friend. She was attacked at work. And out of nowhere, he goes, No, Mom! He just thinks your cooking's gonna fucking suck! <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> No! No, no! <laughs> Whoa, no, that's not what I said at all! Okay, I gotta go by! So I burst out the front door, and I go walking towards the car as fast as I can. And as I come walking towards the car, Fetal, Fetal Man, Clay... <laughs> Comes walking around with a, position with, clay. With, with a bag of groceries going, Oh, Ian, taking off so soon. And I'm like, yep, sorry, I gotta go. And I got in the car and I went immediately to Luna, <clears throat> where I was shaking more than this. And I retold the story to Treg and Bonnie. And uh, yeah, Karen, I do um, maybe have some free time now and maybe you'll see some videos from me in the future. that you wrap it up so many unanswered questions still <laughs> was the mom upset was max uh saying that to piss off ian and make him look uncomfortable or did he really hate his mom and figure out just extra jab him so many unanswered questions stay tuned next time in 2018 for the next revelation part three of the Max the Stalker story. Oh, wait, 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 there's going to be parts where Ian's running back. No, there, there was a part three. There is going to be a part three. No, uh, we're just going to have it out right now. No, 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 no. You, you sure? I'm just, I, well, wait. perhaps I will expound upon it. Um, months later, after all this, I, I received a breakup note from him. A legitimate breakup note. That's going to be part three. I, I still have it. It's in a DS case. You're going to bring that? Okay. And that'll be part three, and we'll see you. Don't go to any birthday parties. All right. Well, Ian's done uh, metaphysically, physically, mentally. He walked off the podcast.